Stephen, your boys know the sort of game you're going to get here at Fur Park, but they dealt very well with it today. Yeah, you know, before the game, people are talking about Motherwell's form. Uh, three wins on the spin, clean sheets. Um, but we've came here today and completely controlled this fixture with 11 men and with 10. Uh, I thought defensively we were so organised. It's a real strong, solid away win, which I'm very pleased about. And I always knew we could cause them problems going the other way, and we did. Um, I thought our front three in terms of energy and creating problems for them, considering the week they've been through, was, was fantastic. The only um, disappointment is obviously losing Alfredo, but we've got no complaints on that. Yeah, um, the right-hand side actually today, Scott Arfield and Joe Rebo, that partnership really seems to be blossoming. Yeah, I thought both of them uh, certainly could be contenders for man of the match. I thought they were both outstanding. Scott's, we've moved Scott back down the line. Um, and we're playing him more facing the opposition goal rather with his back to goal and um, he's took to that right side position really really well three strong performances on, on the spin in there and um, we always know what we're going to get from him honesty, hard work and he's got amazing quality when he needs it as well so fair play to both of them, you're outstanding In terms of after when you went down to 10 men we saw the, the 4-3-2 formation once mm. again and your, your players really know it and as you say controlled the game yeah, well, it's just us doing exactly what we've been doing, just without our number nine. Um, unfortunately, we've had a lot of experience uh, over the 18, 19 months of, of going down to 10 men. I think this is uh, Alfredo's first setback since there's been a marked improvement in terms of his behaviour. So we'll reset that situation and um, we'll move forward. Unfortunately, we, we suffer now. The fans suffer and the players suffer because he's not available for the next game. But um, we've got people that can come in and we can cope there. But... Um, before the red, he, he was playing ever so well and he was causing them loads and loads of problems. So I think in summary, uh, I'm so pleased with the clean sheets and the away win on the back of the week we've had and uh, across the board, all the players deserve credit for that. And likewise, the, the two goals he scored today, both fantastic in their own right. Once again, the, the set-piece threat for the first one. Yeah, I thought Kata showed real hunger and determination. Very similar, if you like, to Hollanders when we won the game at Ibrox and then Alfredo does what he does. I actually thought we could have capitalised on other moments of good play, breakaways, flashing balls across the six-yard box. I was thinking of getting Defoe on with 25 to go because I know he maybe would have got a tap in there, but all the changes we had planned that we were going to do obviously went out the window because we had to uh, cope and survive with 10 men. And again, Borna Barisic, outstanding and so unlucky at the end to, to see the one come off the inside of the post. Yeah, uh, I'll let that go because uh, with a couple of minutes on the clock, I'm expecting us to go to the corner and, and game management and, and be experienced, but... Uh, if it was 2-1, I'd have uh, lost control and I'd have had a go at them, but at 2-0 with two minutes to go, I'll, I'll, I'll just turn a blind eye to that.